Women have made deep inroads in the medical profession, but there are still areas where they're underrepresented. A unique program sponsored by UCSF and San Francisco General Hospital hopes to change that. It's called the Perry Program, and its goal is to interest young women in one of the most physically demanding types of surgery. Uh, it's close. It's got to be close. If pouring sand in a bucket seems like an odd way to get young women interested in orthopedic surgery, just wait for the payoff. Oh! <laughs> Of course it helps to know that the screw that snapped in this stress test is the same kind a surgeon might use to put your leg back together. Bioengineer Jenny Buckley runs the testing lab at San Francisco General Hospital. So this lab is all about uh, testing orthopedic products. So it's about testing new implants, figuring out what works about them, what doesn't work, and making recommendations to the surgeons as to what they should be using. And here's a class of high school students, all young women, who will get their hands on the kinds of tools you'd normally see in a machine shop. Anything's game. They can really, if they want to use the drill press, they can use the drill press. If they want to learn how to put in some screws, we're going to teach them how to do that. Upstairs at General's new orthopedic trauma institute, the drilling gets a little closer to the bone. UCSF surgeon Lisa Latanza is giving students an introduction to the applied side of orthopedic surgery, how those screws and plates actually go in. So we would take an instrument called an elevator and we would push the muscle off the bone until we got everything off, including the periosteum. The reason that we decided to bring these women into the lab now is that women are very underrepresented in orthopedic surgery. Only about three to four percent of practicing orthopedic surgeons are women, and only about 10% of residents are women. From their Rosie the Riveter t-shirts to the determined look on their faces, it's clear the physical challenges of orthopedics aren't scaring away any potential surgeons. Jan Nicole Tavera and Kim Elder are both high school students from Milpitas and Lafayette. So far, I think it's really exciting because drills are not like everyday tools that you get to play with around. They're not toys, obviously. Um, and it becomes even more interesting when you think about how you could really use that kind of technology to help like an actual person. The program will ultimately take these young women into an operating room at UCSF where they'll watch surgeons working with the real thing. And while there are no statistics yet, organizers believe the program will ultimately help increase the number of women interested in studying orthopedic surgery. Our theory is that it's really about exposure. If there aren't a lot of women in the profession, then you may not have a mentor out there that you can look to that says, oh, women are in this field, I can do this too. Another quick note on the importance of mentoring. Dr. Latanza, whom you just met, says she was encouraged to enter surgical training by a woman named Dr. Jacqueline Perry, the first female orthopedic surgeon graduated by UCSF. The Perry program is now named in her honor. Now